Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Dr. Jeff Wise from the Wise Institute for Hair Restoration. Today we're going to be talking about the Norwood scale. Uh, it's a scale that was developed in the 1950s and was perfected in the 1970s uh, from observations from uh, hundreds if not thousands of men experiencing male pattern baldness. And predictably we find that men tend to have male pattern baldness in what exactly as it sounds, which is a pattern. So let's talk about the different stages and uh, it helps kind of doctors and patients and even yourself identify, uh, you know, where you are on the spectrum of uh, hair loss. So when we talk about the Norwood scale, the Norwood scale is based on uh, progressive hair loss and that's from stage one to stage seven. Stage one is the least amount of hair loss. Uh, stage seven is, is the most advanced. And when we talk about the, the Norwood scale, we're really talking about male pattern uh, baldness. Uh, Female pattern baldness is on another scale, which we'll talk about in another video. So what's stage one? Stage one is essentially a juvenile hairline. So that means there's absolutely no hair loss at all. There's no recession. There's no thinning of, of the hair. When you think about a stage one kind of fella, think about a, uh, a, uh, a 10 year old boy with absolutely no hair loss whatsoever. So stage two is essentially an adult mature hairline. So what does that mean? That essentially means that there's a small amount of mild recession in the temple area. And this is uh, very, very common, if not the norm for all men as they get out of the teenager, teenage or, or adolescent period. So you can almost consider stage one normal for a juvenile and stage two is essentially normal or ideal for anyone, let's say over the age of 20 years old. Stage three of the Norwood scale is things, things are starting to get real. So what I mean by that is you have some recession of, of, of the temple area, but it's a little more than what we would consider quote unquote normal. And there's almost no hair in those areas. So rather than getting a little wispier, it's almost completely gone in the temple area. Stage 3B is actually a similar concept, but now it's happening in the crown. So not all men just recede in the front. There are some men who begin to so, show some signs of male pattern baldness in the vertex. And we call those people patients in the Norwood 3B scale. At stage four of the Norwood scale, we start to see some significant recession and significant balding. What I mean by that is that people now have a fairly noticeable amount of, of thinning in the front of the hairline, but they also have significant thinning in the back of the hairline as well. So now we're fighting the old war on two fronts. So there's frontal temporal recession, and then there's also vertex recession. Typically patients in the Norwood uh, four stage have a very thick hardy band of hair separating the vertex and the uh, front of the head. At stage five of the Norwood scale, we start to see progression of vertex or crown thinning. And we also see some significant uh, balding of the frontotemporal area, the, the front of the head. So, and that thick band of tissue uh, separating the vertex or crown and the front of the head is starting to kind of get a little, a little wispy. So we're seeing basically progression of what we've seen previously. At stage six of the Norwood scale, we actually see a fusion now of vertex thinning and frontotemporal th thinning to the extent now that there's not really a band of tissue separating the uh, two. It's kind of all becoming uh, rather sparse. At stage seven of the Norwood scale, this is really what we're considering a guy who's bald, bald. So you think of a guy who's bald, this is stage seven. So what we mean by that is essentially there's no distinction between the front and the back. The hair is diffusely thin to non-existent. And all that remains is a very, very thin area of uh, hair on the sides of the head and also the back, which as many of you know, actually is the donor area. So that hair essentially in the most advanced stage of typical male pattern baldness or androgenic alopecia, that hair remains. But other than that, there's really no hair on the top of the head whatsoever. So, hey guys, so that's essentially the Norwood scale uh, in, in a nutshell. And what's, what, what's the point of the Norwood scale? It basically allows uh, my patients and I to kind of speak the same language. Also, uh, I invite people to come in for an evaluation. We can kind of see where you land on this scale. And based on your position on the scale, that helps us dictate treatment, whether it be medical, uh, hair transplantation, PRP, or, or a combination thereof. So uh, invite people to come in for a consultation and uh, we'll see what we can do to help.